Sometimes we move a portion of the image and it gets placed behind another part of the image. We can choose which part goes in front and which part goes in the back by using the Puppet Overlap tool. For example, let's move the nose near the leg. As you can see, the nose of the dog now gets placed behind the leg. We can fix this if we go to the Puppet Overlap tool. Let's go ahead and choose it. And now let's click on the outline of the nose. That is the position where the nose is originally. And just click there. Let's show the mesh. Let's change the extent value. This works a lot like the Puppet Starch tool. And now we can change the in front and the in back value. Let's go ahead and change this to the Puppet Pin tool again. And let's move it. And notice that now the nose is in front of the leg. If I switch tools again to the Overlap tool, let's go ahead and select it. I can change the setting. And by giving it this value, now the nose is behind the leg. And now it's back in front. Remember, if you want to see which areas are being affected, just show the mesh. The option to show the mesh appears in any one of the Puppet tools, Puppet Pin, Overlap, or Starch.